Another German official is calling on the United States to explain its con controversial NSA data surveillance program. Interior Minister Hans-Peter Federich says in a German newspaper that if the Americans intercepted German cell phones, they broke German law. Jessica Stone has the story. A wave of weekend accusations in the German press that the relationship between U.S. President Barack Obama and German Chancellor Angela Merkel may not be as friendly as the White House made it out to be. Der Spiegel reported the NSA selected Merkel's cell phone for surveillance as early as 2002. Germany's Sunday newspaper Bild am Sonntag reported the NSA director informed Obama in 2010 that the agency was listening to Merkel's mobile phone calls, but, quote, Obama didn't stop the operation back then, but let it continue. The NSA released a statement Sunday saying the conversation never happened and, quote, news reports claiming otherwise are not true. Germany's respected weekly magazine Der Spiegel also reported Sunday that an American security team used, quote, sophisticated listening devices based at the U.S. Embassy with the ability to, quote, intercept virtually every communication in the political quarter in Berlin. NSA and the intelligence community. In Der Spiegel attributed much of the information to documents given to the paper by former American NSA contractor Edward Snowden. In Germany, the interior minister has called for accountability, while German citizens are up in arms. On the one hand, it is outrageous, but it is also outrageous that it seems to have no serious consequences. That is the really frightening thing about it. But Sunday, political leaders in the U.S. defended the practice. How damaging is it for the German chancellor or the French president uh, to know that we've been keyed into their phone calls. Well, I think the bigger news story here would be, Candy, if, if the United States intelligence services weren't trying to collect information that would protect U.S. interests uh, both home and abroad. I think the president should stop apologizing, stop being defensive. The reality is the NSA has saved thousands of lives, not just in the United States, but also in France and Germany and throughout Europe. Chancellor Merkel has reportedly been furious over reports that the U.S. has been eavesdropping on calls she's been making on her cell phone. She's calling for a no-spy agreement with the United States and at least two of the nation's many intelligence services. Talks could begin on that as early as this week when the U.S. expects a delegation of German intelligence officials to arrive here in Washington, D.C. for talks. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.